under the contents system of circles let us discuss angle between the two circles particularly angle between the two intersecting circles now let us take two circles s is equal to 0 s dash equal to 0 now when they are intersecting at the most they intersect in two points at either point you draw the tangents to both the circles like this so angle between the two intersecting circles is defined as angle between the tangents drawn at either point of intersection that means you can draw the tangents either here or here so angle between these two is given by theta so angle between the two circles particularly intersecting circles is defined as angle between the two tangents drawn at either point of intersection now let us draw one more figure for calculating what is exactly the angle between the two circles let s is equal to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 s dash is equal to x square plus y square plus 2gdx 2f dash y plus c dash equal to 0 since these two are intersecting circles let us draw the circles like this now this is going to be c1 this is going to be c2 now draw this line of centers and this is point p now you can observe very clearly from p you can draw a tangent like this and draw one more tangent to second circle like this now join this c1 p and this is c2 p now assume that this is m and this is n now we will calculate the angles now you observe that this is going to be the radius this is the tangent so angle c1 p n angle c1 p n is equal to 90 degrees then comes c2 p m you know that this is also radius of this circle equation radius is perpendicular to tangent so angle c2 p m is equal to 90 degrees now we need to find out the angle also angle c1 p c2 is equal to c1 p c2 this angle we want assume that that is theta now that is nothing but angle c1 p n plus angle c2 p m minus angle m p n angle m p n now this is going to be instead of taking this total as theta let us restrict ourselves angle between the two tangents is theta now this is 90 degrees plus 90 degrees minus theta that is 180 minus theta now applying cosine rule applying cosine rule in triangle c1 p c2 so when you are talking about cosine rule these two sides and included sign is given included angle is given to find out the third side so c1 p is nothing but radius of first circle c2 p is the radius of second circle assume that distance between the two centers is d so c1 c2 whole square is equal to c1 p whole square plus c2 p whole square minus formula of cosine rule is a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2 b c cos a so c1 c2 whole square equal to c1 p whole square plus c2 p whole square minus 2 into c1 p into c2 p into cos of angle between these two c1 p c2 now this is d square d square is equal to this is r1 square 
plus R2 square minus 2 R1 R2 cos of angle C1 P C2 earlier we calculated that is coming out to be 180 minus theta. It is 180 minus theta. You know that 180 minus theta is second quadrant. Cos is always negative. So bring these two terms to this side. D square minus R1 square minus R2 square equal to minus 2 R1 R2 into minus cos theta. So negative into negative positive. We require only cos theta. So cos theta is equal to d square minus r1 square minus r2 square by 2 r1 r2. So theta is equal to cos inverse d square minus r1 square minus r2 square by 2 r1 r2. So this is how we calculate angle between the two intersecting circles s is equal to 0 and s dash equal to 0. 